Hi guys, hello and welcome to another control language programming tutorial with RDI. Today I will teach you that in your control language program, if you have issued a command to dump your seal program so that you can see the output of the variables as to what they are, and instead of going to the green screen and running the work spool file command and then checking your dump, uh, you can actually do all of that stuff right with an RDI without going to green screen. And that's what I will show you how you can do that. And I will also show you that how you can call your program from within RDI and the, you don't have to go to the green screen and issue a call command. So there are a couple things that we'll be looking at uh, in today's tutorial. So this is the program that we created and we have a bunch of variables and then we are changing the values of the variables and then we call the dump seal program command four times and instead of going to the green screen i will go to the compile menu and i go to the compile and then i go to work with compile commands in work with compile commands i already did this for you uh, but however let me try to do this again for you by simply deleting this so that I can show you the steps again. All you need to do is click on new command. After you click a new command, you can come up with your own labels, just like uh, RDI came up with its own labels and inside each label, the actual command exists. So I can come up with my own label called call PGM. You can also give space in the, in the labels, it's perfectly fine. And this is the command that I'm using that I want to call the program and what are these variables? Let me show you. Ampersand O is the name of the library, slash, and ampersand N is the name of my resource that I want to select, which is the name of my program. So when I run this on any program, it will grab its library and it will grab the name of the object and we'll call it. Simple as that. And then I'll click the create command and close. Now, I have already compiled this, but let me show you. I can just go back and compile it again. And right now, after the compilation process is done, I will show you my commands log. And it tells me that the following object was replaced successfully. After that, I will go down in my remote system explorer down to where I have my spool files. So there's a whole section called spool files. And if you right click and refresh your spool files, and if you see any item there, that is basically uh, my last execution of this and that made its way into the spool file. It's always a good idea to clear your spool files every now and then. So I'll right click and delete just to show you how you can delete your items from the spool files. And I'll also show you how you can delete multiple items at the end of this tutorial. You can simply right click on the spool files and refresh and you will see that the list is empty. Now, let me show you how you can call the program without going to the green screen. All you need to do is click anywhere in the editor, go to the compile, compile and call PGM. And when you do that, check the commands log. The commands log says the command went through successfully and let me right click on my spool files and refresh and here you can see my program dumps if i double click on one of these dumps it shows me the output this is equal to you going to work spool file and locating the items and opening them and i can open them in tabs over here and i can check to see what my values are i can simultaneously look at them also or i could just go from one tab to another as well, as opposed to me issuing command five on each one of them and then coming out and then issuing the command five on the next one and so on and so forth. So let me show you how you can delete multiple files from the spool files. You can simply click on the first one, press and hold the shift key on the keyboard while holding it, click on the last one, then let go of the shift key, right click anywhere in the selection and click delete and then right click on spool files and refresh and you will see that the spool files are empty. Okay, So this is how you can pretty much run your programs and call them from right within RDI and you can check your spool files. 
Let me know in the comment section below if you like the tutorial and if you would like to uh, me to make tutorials on some other subjects. And take care, guys. Bye-bye.